I understand that there are many people that share this sentiment that nuclear science and technology is not something that we should learn or utilize to improve our standard of living in a sustainable way. And that really to me is just incredibly shocking for two main reasons. One is simply that it requires the least amount of materials to get a fixed amount of energy. So the least amount of materials per gigawatt hour means the least amount of mining and milling and processing and the least amount of waste. And you might think, well, that's the risk of the waste or it's the risk of accidents of having nuclear power. And so the second reason why it's astonishing that this narrative is so popular in society is that nuclear has the lowest number of deaths per gigawatt hour from accidents. You might want to think about that for a second, not just the materials, that's profound. That means it's the most environmentally friendly. You have the smallest impact on the environment with nuclear. But think about that, the smallest number of deaths per gigawatt hour from accidents. Now it has had some pretty profile accidents, but the point is, is that they're quite limited. They're very infrequent and you know about them all. And yet for other things like airplane crashes or whatever, those are infrequent, so you hear about those, but there are other industries that just kill far more people far more often from accidents, including solar falling off of roofs or, or wind falling off of wind turbines. But with nuclear, you just know about them all. They're, they're highly uh, pol uh, uh, popularized in, in, in social media and so forth. And so that's profound. Now, for Fukushima is a good example, right? That's a terror phrase. And yet the United Nations, World Health Organization, all the experts agreed all the radioactivity was insufficient to produce any measurable med medical effects in the Japanese public. And the only people that died were those that died from a panicked evacuation, meaning that people literally risked and lost their lives to avoid something that would not produce any kind of health effect that would be measurable in those people. That's how profound this narrative goes in terms of thinking that all radio radiation is deadly. And so you should avoid all of it at all costs. And why that is so profound is this journal paper right over here, what this found. And what they found is that if you look at Chernobyl, we know that hurt a lot of people. Many, many hundreds of children got leukemia and thyroid cancer as a result of that. And what this journal paper here shows is that the liquidators from Chernobyl, the actual adults that were doing the cleanup and the work there in Pripyat, right there in Chernobyl, there were no statistically significant increases in leukemia, thyroid cancer, or other similar health problems. The biggest health problem that they had was suicide. Those shot up. And again, it's the same fear, this radiophobia, that you're stigmatized. Any radiation is bad and it's going to cause bad things. So any bad thing that happens to you is due to the radiation. So it just proves that you're doomed, so you have no hope. And so the, one of the biggest health effects from Chernobyl was also fear. And it's this thing that says some science is good and some science is bad. Is that really true? Some science is good to know how to sustainably control nature to improve our lives and some is bad. We should avoid that knowledge. Come on. This is science. 